Around goes Cole Luigi. Into the pack he goes. He gets Trey Rainey, the fifth team off the wall. Around goes Taylor Ryan Price. Coming down the racetrack is Marcus Sachi. Oh, he got hit. He got hit hard. Is that the 38 may have been involved? The 37 as well. Cole Luigi sees an opening down to the middle. He's going to try and get down there. Marcus Sachi gets into him. Down, gets into Eli Bright. Eli keeps it straight. Up, they go into the pack. The 15 gets involved again. The 41, the 95. That's Trey Rennie and Chaser. And then Taylor Brown Price spins it around. Looks like Code keeps it going. But then the 41, Marcus Sachi comes down off the wall. He doesn't really hold the brake that well. If he was, he really just slid down the track. And here comes the second pack. Octavo misses. Here comes Colton Yo. Nathan Stapleton. Then right there, Carter Freeze got his damage up into he goes. And it's going to set up a late race restart. The caution comes out with about 10 laps of racing to go. And now we'll see if the drivers that, st that stayed out, do they now come down for fuel and maybe tires? Because now are the tires worn enough to where maybe they will have an advantage if they take tires? We'll just have to see. No oh, crash! Baker's up in the air in the 96! Patrick Smith is involved! And cars are spinning! There are a ton of cars! Cole Luigi sends them both up into the 96. Baker hits the wall, gets up off the ground. Luigi does a great job keeping that car straight, get away, and then Smith... Gets some damage right there, and here comes some cars sliding in there. And around goes Jeff Brown, the fight we just talked about him. Mac Johnson, there's Stablier, there's Friesen spinning down low. He gets in the inside wall a little bit. Sampson, Nichols, Dre Rainey. Front is going to be Jonathan Beaver. He just took the race seat from Jay Jefferson. A hard crash for Baker. Nathan Stapleton is one of them. Cole Luigi is also battling, but Stapleton just got some positions right there. Contact made around the goal. Big crash back in the field. This is the race. They're side by side for the lead. Ended up causing a huge crash that took out most of the field. There's Eli up into Jonathan Reigns, and then into Jake Galloway into the wall. They go hard into the wall, come down and get Jonathan Buford. There's Levi Schultz getting his damage in the 10 car. And then spinning around the middle of the field, there's Steve Larker, Andrew Miller, Riley Sampson. As the clock is now tro or, or the, the track is now clogged, basically. Oh, the four came up and got into the 51. And Dale Lightning takes a wild run. That's where Hanley and Carter Friesen got involved. There's where Luke Rainey, Max Anderson got his damage. So many cars involved. There's called Luigi spinning through. Trey Rainey came and nailed TJ hard. My gosh, what a wreck that was. As the second half of the field came in and got involved. You can see TJ there. He's probably trying to hope that, that 38 would stay on the high side for this white flag lap. And that's a hard hit for so many drivers involved. And the yellow comes out, ends it early. Danny Lloyd comes around to win here at Atlanta. Jake West coming up, just missed him, but right here, Dale Lightning runs him over, Steve Larker then gets into him, down to Andrew Miller, down to Colton Yo. Carter Friesen barely missed along with Max Anderson, the 37 goes back up the racetrack, Mac Johnson hits him hard, Jack Marshall hits him hard, into the outside wall hard, Mac Johnson as well. Oh, and then Joe Jefferson nailed! So the 31 had some sort of issue, and then cars compiling in. Jack Marshall hard head on to the outside wall. And right here. Oh, that's a hard hit for Joe Jefferson and Mac Johnson. And it's going to lose points anyway. It has been a miserable day, miserable day for Jack Marshall. But this just makes matters worse. He was three laps away from finishing the race. He's involved in a crash. Hard, heavy damage. Steve As Diego Yapez is around and a whole bunch of cars. Oh, Cole Luigi's upside down. Oh, he got hit by his teammate again. They get together up into the one. Yapez hits the wall hard. Around he goes. Now they're in front of the field. Luke Ray does a great job getting low. Look at Stefan Baker getting low and getting by. Makes some contact with the 13. The 4 gets into the 27. The 78. Oh, that. Oh, there's where the hard hit with that 22 came into play. Jack Marshall and Cole Luigi's now going to get hit right there by the 33 and go upside down as he takes a nasty tumble. He luckily lands back on all four wheels. Into the wall. Look at Stephen Baker and Steve Morgan do a great job. Oh, the 22 came down to the 42. That's where they made their contact. That's where the stack up happened on the top side. M most of those drivers got their damage. But then up ahead, the 42 of Cole Luigi takes a nasty tumble and gets hit again. This is now what? Our fourth race and our sixth flip. We had two at Daytona, two at Olive Club. We had one last race. And now another one here at Phoenix. We're only four races in already a sixth flip. And Cole Luigi goes upside down and then gets hit again by his teammate. And down low to the 90 of Danny Lloyd. He's just going to get him right there. Spin the 31 around. Kukulon barely misses it. Taylor hardens the inside. Well, now he's going to shoot back up the racetrack. I'm surprised the yellow doesn't come out right here, but he's not sideways in the track. 
is going to get hit by Nichols in the 48, which sends him flipping. There's Max Anderson, your points are involved, but still a car is not backwards on the racing surface. No, no yell actually comes out until I believe the 96 hits the 48. I believe some cars coming in, Nichols is sideways on the track, and some might hit him. See, Coluigi and John Gamut doing a great job. I believe at some point Baker's going to come in here and hit the 48. Yes, and then that caution comes out as he's hitting the 48. Look at them in real time, them going on board with a few drivers. I just think that 31 is having some troubles on the outside lane right there and fading back and into the wall. He goes hard, and then as if it wasn't bad enough, just gets hit right here. And then your points leader, Max Anderson, had nowhere to go. And Taylor flips upside down. Sideways through the trial, sideways up onto the racetrack. Great job. Oh, your race leader is blown up, and around goes the 20 as I tell. Up into the back, big one. The whole field involved. Zydell with an apparent issue on the 20, and they're still stacking them up. Huge crash, and a lot of cars involved. Off in the corner, Zydell and the one of Yepes, they just make contact. Like, Zydell just kept coming down to the one, and around he goes up into this field. Watch Griffin Lynn. There's Mac Johnson barely getting collected. Tyler Fink and Max Anderson. Dale Lightning. Levi Schoen's in the middle of all of it. Benny Watson and some cars come off the apron and get involved. And a ton of drivers involved in the big one here at Talladega. As cars come flying in, cars trying to miss it. Almost makes me think he had a tire go down or something. Or did the 75 put oil down? Because remember, he did just blow up immediately after this happened. I'm trying to see who came together there to cause that second part of the crash. My gosh, Benny Watson was sideways. And then getting down low, yeah, some cars come together. Andrew Miller, Isaac Nichols. And a few more go spinning. There's Watson slamming on the brakes. Oh, some, someone just... I think that might have been Greg Lee who got the damage from the 41 there. Gardner saves the car right there and then comes back up against Dale Lightning. Lightning up into the 96, up into the 22. And the 24 rides the wall. Does he go upside down? If he does, that is the... Now, another race where a car has gone upside down in the Gatorade Cup Series. That is a streak you do not want to have. We had two flips at All Club, a flip at Vegas, a flip at Phoenix, and now a flip here at Bristol's Johnson rides the wall and then flips down the banking once and twice. Luckily, that car lands back on all fours. Then we're going to go on board with TJ Hanley with second in points coming into the race. He gets a ton of damage in this. He just had nowhere to go. There's Johnson flipping off the banking. Luckily, it lands back on all fours, as we mentioned. Starting at the back here is pretty tough unless you're on the inside lane. Hanley was on the inside, but I guess just got cut up high at some point. And look at Johnson, right in the wall. And right there, he couldn't get slowed down. TJ couldn't have gone to Jack Marshall. Around goes the 34. He gets Riley Sampson. Sampson goes up and over. Jeff Wright, Griffin Lynn may have been involved. The 18 slides down the racetrack. Stefan Baker gets involved. And some cars slam on the brakes to get slowed down. Sampson into the grass in the 18 car. He comes down, gets into the code Luigi a little bit. The 42 saves, but the 51 goes up, hits the wall hard. Comes down, gets into the 34 Smith, who spins around, comes up and impacts the wall hard. And here comes Riley Sampson, the 18 hard on the gas, trying to miss it. Hits the 34 hard. The 5 then gets into him, basically just flips the 18 over. And you can see right there, gets into the 7 of Lynn. Lynn goes up the racetrack. Stefan Baker gets damaged right there off the 5. Sampson flips down the racetrack. There's the 5 up off the ground. And you can see those 5 cars back there, the 4, the 88, the 14, the 41, the 48, all basically stopping to avoid the 18 who was sliding down the racetrack. Skip. It's kind of weird how the 18 flipped as well because he kind of got hit by the 5 there and kind of just flipped him over. Watch Eli right here. Slam on the brakes. Jay Jefferson may have gotten some damage on the 78. He should be fine to keep going though. Right there, the 18 then goes down and hits the grass. And the 77 comes down, gets him, and that's hard contact there. And Eli goes up on the little wall, slams it, and then spins around. That's a tough break. He's been running top 5 pretty much all race long. And then sliding down the banking, and here comes some cars into it. James Stableo hard in the gas. He gets hit right there. Here comes Jeff right into the into the path of the 88, the 4, the 3, the 48. That's three of the four uh, Hendrick cars. Oh, Sebastian Kukulon hit by Colton Young up and over. He goes onto the 4. Jonathan Reigns lands on top of the 4. And back there, that's some more contact. There's Cole Luigi getting involved. Gardner hits the... Oh, is that Steve Larker who had a hard collision? And I think I saw Stefan Baker get spun around the back as well. I believe the 96 was further back in the screen. Some cars do go low. In fact, that could have been four Hendrick Motorsports cars. Yeah, Morgan got into the uh, 96 right there. And that's what kept Cole Luigi down low. 
If that didn't happen, he would have been able to keep it up high. And there's the 75 hitting. And then somehow the 22 and some others get involved. I'm trying to see how this happens. So they're coming off pit road behind the pace car. Oh, they stacked up there. They're going through the grass. I don't know why you would do that. And then right here, I think Marshall hits the pit wall. And then somehow they wrecked further ahead with the 32, the 48. 48 may have been on the track trying to get going, and someone may have just ran into him. Oh, so the 48 had crashed. I think he might be trying to get onto pit road right here, and he might be a little angry. And he just spins the car around on the, the transition there. And here comes some cars into it. Max Harrison does a great job getting high and away from that, but so many cars involved. You see the 40 up off the ground. There's the 41. And that's a ton of cars. A lot of the field is going to be out after this. Around go a few cars. The 47 back up into the track. It's Watson. And there's your points leader, Jack Marshall. Octavo. There's Watson. There's Kukulon. A Pocono winner. Oh, the rest of the field comes in. Jack Marshall's out. He's done. Anderson to the 47, then gets down to Taylor. There. They make some contact with the 7 of Lynn. They get hooked together, and right there, trying to get off each other. Around they go. 47 takes a wild spin through the grass. There's the 7 of the 31 going through the grass up here. Up into the 32, into the 1, into the 3, into the 17. There's Marshall in it. Luke Ray does a great job getting that car slow. It looks like he's able to miss it. As all these cars are spinning now, others are going to come into it. That second pack that we were mentioning, if they got yellow, how they could try and catch up. Well, some cars get hit right here, and here comes Marshall. He's going to hit Kukulon hard, and then I think it was the 21 that hit. I couldn't tell who that was back there, but the 21. Just hard racing. Got some more chase involved. How about Luke Ray and Octavo? They're doing great jobs there. Look at Luke. Look at Octavo does get some damage there, but I think he should be all right. Well, let's go on board with Luigi Octavo in the A3. Pretty hard damage there to the 47. Now Stephen Baker looks bottom. Contact! Around they go! Big crash! And third point Stanley is involved! And a lot more! And John Gimmick gets a little low down to the night 5, and then that spins them up into the 3 and the 43. There's Stampson up off the ground hard. Gambit, there's Bowers involved, and then cars on the outside in order to go. Alexander Rowe does find a hole through the top to miss it, but I bet they're still wrecking. Maybe he got involved in there. Did he get low enough? There's Hanley with his damage and the 23 driving away. Here at Auto Club takes out what we know to be one of our championship contenders, TJ Hanley. Griffin Lynn does get involved right there. We don't know about Alexander Rowe. Let's see from his on board. And then it's kind of come up into him. And the winner of the Auto Club 400, the second race of the season, will not be able to sweep the season here at Fontana. Just missed Hanley. But then the 17, I think, got clipped with. Oh, we got damage right there. He's smoking. Taylor Fink is down low three. He's trying to get up. And he gets up into Smith, who gets up into Bouchard. And this angle right here, it puts the 17 on his side. And I don't know if he goes up and over, but he takes a wild ride. We'll see right here off the fence. It looks like it might stay on all fours. That's close. It did. It goes right ahead of what happened. Did gain a good amount of positions right there, but obviously that's a heartbreaker for Nichols. But it did work out for him. He may not have had enough fuel. Stop right here. Jefferson gets into Bouchard trying to fill a hole. They go four wide. Jefferson gets into Zydell. Spins the 20 around. Gets into the 27. The 78 goes into the wall. And once again, another flip this season for the Gary Cup Series. That is now the fifth flip in just three races. I cannot believe, though, the amount of crashes that we've had and the amount of flips that we've had. Zydell up into the fence, up and over. Luckily, that car lands back on all fours, and I can't believe he drove that car away because it took some pretty hard hits there. Flying at you there. There's the contact. Around goes to 20. Look at this. Into the fence, up and over, lands back on all fours and drives the car away, but all three of those guys' days are done. With oh! Stapleton spun into the inside wall by the 20 of Justin Zydell. They shoot back up the racetrack, and they're collecting even more cars. Oh, where's at the end? There's a nice six up. Oh! 47 Anderson, your points there, flips in turn three. Caution is out again. Hooks him down to the inside wall. Look at this hit. 
both of them hard. Stapleton especially, head on. They come back up here, comes Price, nowhere to go. He gets into it. Octavo in the 83. I think he does a good job. There's Lloyd. Oh, he got hit at the end there. There's the 96. There's the 41, the 22. And then here comes your points leader. There's the 96 up off the ground. And then right here, the 21 hits the 47. And up and over goes your points leader, Max Anderson. What a crash. I, I was just, I think, a little over aggressive by Zaydel unless something happened earlier on in the race that maybe caused that to maybe incur. Right there. Oh, that's just some hard hits and up and over for points leader. There's Taylor, the 31, who stalled. I think he makes it by. Oh, see, Cole Luigi just made it by. That 42 has not had a great night, but that's definitely some positions for him. I think he's going to be done. I think he may have hit the pip arrows. Oh, just like the 31. Oh, he hit the 31. So, Taylor ruining more drivers' races. Three wide. Around goes to 75. Around open to the pack. A huge crash at the front of the field. It's just taking out some contenders. He just comes up and clips the 75. Steve Larker, we said three wide, not enough room. Larker spins around down low. And like we've seen so many times, you go down and you come right back up and... 78 already came up and got into the 17, the 32, and then Patrick Smith at the end. There's Cole Luigi. There's Isaac Nichols. Luigi won this race in season number five. There's Smith in the 34. I think he gets hit. Just three wide for a second. Jefferson, oh, man, Nichols took a hard hit. Jefferson's going to have some pretty heavy damage there in the 78. He came up, and I think he hit angle. Who the 78 came up? Oh, he hit Octavo. He might have some pretty heavy damage there. That, those are some hard hits. Look, Octavo up off the ground. And then some cars had slowed, and I think, yeah, Friesen and, oh, man. Man with his teammate. Oh, and then the 34 cut across and got Kukulon. Johnson spinning it around. That's the inside wall. He does come off and gets a huge crash. He's up on his side. Joe Jefferson as well is spinning around. The big one here at Pocono. Spins the 24 around, never lifts. And there goes Johnson heading down towards the inside wall, and he hits at a hard angle. He hits the inside wall first, and then he bounced off that other inside wall Back across the track, gets Joe Jefferson, Tyler Fink. Those guys go on their side. Jake Gow, I think, somehow got away with minimal damage. Taylor Bryan Price did a great job. 41 still bucking around. I don't think either one of them goes upside down, though. And then other cars just start getting into it from there. There's Nichols with hit damage. That's just a tough break for Mac Johnson. He's one of the 300 cars starting inside the top 10. Thought they maybe had a great chance of winning here today. But now one of them, or in fact two of them, taken out in this one. Nichols got some pretty heavy damage as well. So there's some contact there between the 2 and the 37. Yo, just down into him. Around they go up into the wall hard. Baker head on. Tyler Fink gets his damage right there. Those five go spinning. 21 backs into the outside wall hard. Steve Larker gets some damage. Jay Jefferson gets by. Great job there. There comes Dale Lightning into it. Carter Friesen hits the 43 hard. The 51 gets it right there. Up in the air and into the wall. Hits the 42 and hits the 38. And that's an awkward roll over there for the 51. It wasn't really like he went flipping. He just... Went up in the air and landed back on its lid. But that was the first to go around as well because they hit pretty hard. The 42 and the 96 nose to hard to the wall. Tyler the Fink bounced off the wall. There's Larker getting some damage. Here comes the 38 head on. Then the 51 right there got hit by the 95 and it's just a violent crash. Atlanta usually has some very violent crashes. Here right there, the 42 up on the side. Oh, into the wall. Lloyd's on his side and upside down and flipping down the front stretch. West leads us back and they're stacking up. On the front stretch, yellow flag is out, and Jay Jefferson is involved. Lloyd flips. Oh, it looks like the 31 just got a little tight right there up into the 10, had the 19, and right there, Lloyd just shoved into the wall. Right there, 75 came down, got the 18. Dale Lightning and Derek Hill will do some great driving jobs. Jake Galloway may have made contact right there. There's the 42 and some other. Oh, Max Harrison hit Griffin Lynn hard into that crash. And the 19 takes a tumble. The 47 hits him while he's tumbling. And those are some pretty heavy crashes here. And the 19 gets hit again as the 78 Jay Jefferson gets involved. We said when they crash here, they crash big, they crash hard. It happened once again. Danny Loy is not on board. He sat on the pole for this race, so he obviously has an on board. And some others in this crash have been on board as well. Code Luigi has the helmet cam, as we mentioned for this week. Oh, that's a pretty big tumble right there.
The hood doesn't look buckled up from the onboard. He could be able to continue on. Oh, involved! There's a car in the fence off of turn number four, and there's so many cars! Lloyd, there's Trey Rainey. I saw Luke Rainey. They make contact, get hooked together, and look at the ride that the 24 goes on. Another wild ride for Mac Johnson. He goes up and over. It gets caught in the fence. Luke Rainey comes in with nowhere to go. He nails the 14. Stabler does a great job almost getting through. There's Lloyd hitting the two. Here comes Trey Rainey into it. Luke goes up off the ground. Rainey then hits Jake West, and he goes up and over or on his side. Yeah, I don't think that 95 ever rolled completely, but what a scary crash. See, Johnson just up a little too high, and that's all it takes. And Luke Rain bounced off, and then here comes the 19 into it. There's the 95, Trey Rain hit, hitting hard. Up on the side. What a mess this was. Oh, back there! Rain's going around, Hanley sideways! Hanley controls the car, but where's the four? Back up and up in the air! Gets Jeff Wright, Trey Rainey, Luke Rainey! Miller, Cole Luigi flies in there! That's the big one! And we have cars upside down! Luke Rainey's upside down! Louis Jack Tavo's in it! And that 23 just kind of washed up into the four there. I don't know if Rains did something that Hanley didn't, Hanley didn't like at some point, but... I, I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but it definitely looked like a misjudgment of some sort. Then the four comes back up the track. He got hit by the 95, and that's what rolled the car over with the banking. There's the two Luke Rain getting into it. Louis Jack Taylor. There's Jeff Bright hitting the four. There's the 43. The 22 sneaking by. The seven sneaking by. 47 Max Anderson. Maybe gotten some damage right there. That's the thing that did right there. Cole Luigi nailing into the 95. There's Watson doing a wheel again through it. And they came up definitely. For sure. Bounce off the inside wall. And then right here. Come back up the banking and hitting that car. Just that did not work. You see all the great cars involved. And then the 42 hitting hard. Coming into it, and then the two gonna get hit right there, barely, and the banking's gonna flip Luke over. So there's the spin. Four going down, he's gonna hit the inside wall hard. Shoots back up the racetrack. Trey Rainey right in his path, nowhere to go. Yepes got some damage in the one. Luke Rainey had nowhere to go. You can see some debris flying there into the infield. Looked like that may have been off the 83 car of Louis Jack Tavo. Oh, trouble! Big crash! Is that Danny Lloyd up in the air? And flipping down the track, he gets Dale Lang, and they're spinning ahead. Jake West, Steve Larker. Then they spin hard up to the wall, goes to 14, head on. 19 goes flipping, Dale Lightning goes flipping, Jake West went flipping. And back in the pack, Louis Jack Tavo was wrecked. Larker gets hit by the flipping 19 as he came down the track, and that's how Larker got his damage. The back. Taylor did a great job, Bro did a great job. Those some chasers getting by, to name a few. It's a hard flip to start the chase. The 18 a little bit. Sideways there. He sees the wreck in front right there. Wow. They're still making contact. Big sideways. In the wall for a few times. Baker's in the wall hard. And Jake West has done a barrel roll. Oh, there. Oh, flip hard. Baker's been it hard. West is back up and over. Caution is out for the big one. Eli Bryce has come off the wall hard. They're trying to give everyone room, and right here they make some contact. Baker goes up after making contact with the Apes. He gets sideways down to Reigns. They come back up the track. West gets hit. Baker goes up and over. West does a barrel roll, and then Baker lands back on all fours right here. So he's all right. I mean, he's going to be out, but right there gets hit again by Patrick Smith. And up and over he goes again. West still barrel rolling down the racetrack. He hits... The 96 in the middle of all that. And that's got to be some of the scariest rolls I've seen. Reigns comes off the wall after hitting it. Gets Jay Jefferson. As he slides up, Eli Bright hits the outside wall a ton as well. Those were some serious impacts, some serious rolls as well. We have multiple different camera angles so we can see each roll that happened. I think TV1 will capture it the best. And watch Eli nail the outside wall. Knock it down. Yeah, I, I can't believe how the 14 flipped and all that. Yeah, the 14 got hit by the 3, and that's what really flipped them. A few cars got away from all that by escaping on the outside. And we do have a few onboards to go on board with. 
We talked about that uh, that visor cam that we are introducing this season. Isaac Nichols was in the middle of this crash, and he has the visor cam for this race. See, two cars go flipping right there. Gets hit sideways through the grass. Is Colton Yo and Jack Marshall is flipping in the pit wall. 22 is about to go around right here. You can see he's sideways, he's sideways, he's sideways trying to save the car. And finally they're heading towards pit road and around goes the 22. Look at that hit. And it sends the 22 barrel rolling down pit road. The 37 wrecks. And look at this 22 car. Uh, when I mean barrel rolling, he barrels about half the length even more of the front stretch. Passing Victory Lane right there in the little wall. Luckily missed the Victory Lane setup there. But goes in between the pit walls. I have never seen a car flip like that in my life. That is insane. Look at that. He's traveling at such a fast rate of speed. Imagine if he didn't hit that wall. Look at that hit. I mean, that is just unbelievable. And luckily, they never got too close to the actual pit wall to where anyone would get seriously hurt. And luckily, Marshall stopped rolling by the time he got to that. Actually, we'll have another one as we'll look at pit entry angle. Oh my gosh. Wow. Remember at Daytona, we had Baker and West. The 22 does one here. Look at that from far away as Car Friesen leads to go back to the caution flag. And Marshall goes flipping out of frame. You actually probably see him flipping in this frame. Look. Steven, other wrecking coming to pit road. Galloway, Mac Johnson, hard into the pit wall. Yellow flag, and it's for a big crash. Down, he gets Mac Johnson. The 11 goes around and gets Eli Bryant in the 88. Then Johnson slides down, he hits the inside wall, and out of control hits Jake West in the 14. West goes around, and luckily this is passenger side, but it's still a hard hit. And he does a barrel roll and goes backwards. He gets hit by Justin Zidell. There's Trey Rainey in it, and the 24 ends up on his lid. And then gets hit by his teammate Eli Bright. So it looks like Jake Alway tried to cut down right here. And Matt Johnson was down there. And I really, if you're in the third lane, I would just really consider to stay now at that point. And watch them as they come off the corner. There's the contact. There's the 11 to the wall. There goes the 24. And he wiped out Jake West, who was coming down pit road. West would have been in the perfect position. He probably would have been leading this race, or at least the first one with fuel. But instead, now he has a ton of damage. TJ Hanley has some damage in the 23, it looks like. 